everyone, my name is Justin and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a faded splash of color effect in Photoshop. So let's get our photo open and the first thing we want to do is select the object that we want to be in color. So in this case it's a pretty easy cutout because the background is just solid white and the quick selection tool will be the fastest way to select it in my opinion. If you have a more difficult object to cut out, I would suggest maybe the pen tool and I do have tutorials on that which you can check out here. But in most cases, the quick selection tool will work just fine. So go ahead and select the quick selection tool. Make sure it's set to add to selection mode. And you could change the brush size based on how big your object is. But something like this will work just fine. And I'll just go ahead and click and drag. And Photoshop will automatically detect the edges and make a selection. Now I can let go of the mouse and click again to piece together my final selection. So once you have your selection done, you want to hit refine edge and here's where you can clean up any mistakes you made. So if you have anything like hair or anything like that in your object, you can turn up your brush size here and you could paint in those objects and Photoshop will detect those edges and blend things in for you. The next thing you want to do for this effect is shift the edge a little bit to the right. This will give you more room to work with when we're creating the layer masks. So go ahead and shift to the right and then add a little bit of feathering. Something like three to four pixels will be fine. You can play around with these other sliders like smooth and contrast for your object, but for my object it's a pretty solid shape and I don't really need to do much else. So I'll go ahead and select OK and you see we have a pretty good selection of our object. And now what I want to do is just right click and select the inverse. So now I've selected the entire background because this is what we want to make black and white. So with our selection remaining up, we're going to go ahead and go to layer, new adjustment layer, black and white. And go ahead and select OK. And you'll see since we had the selection up, it's automatically going to create a layer mask on our black and white adjustment layer so that our object remains in color. So it's hard to tell because the background of this photo wasn't too colorful in the first place. But you can see it's now black and white and the object's in color. So that is a good effect on its own, but for this tutorial I want to make a fade of that color splash. So we'll take the color splash that we just made and we're going to add another black and white adjustment layer. So go to layer, new adjustment layer, black and white. Now this time you'll see we just made everything black and white, but what we want to do is head over to our layer mask and we're going to go to command I to inverse it. You could also go to Image, Adjustments, Invert. Now, since our layer mask is black, that means none of this adjustment layer is going to show up. So we just see what we had before. But now we can slowly paint in white and it'll make that part black and white again. So you could grab your brush tool and you could choose a soft round brush and set your foreground color to the default white. And we can just go ahead and brush in the parts that we want to make black and white again. So I can go ahead and fade up the color like so. Also if you don't want to use your brush, you could use the gradient tool set to the black and white gradient and just pull your color fade like so. But either way you have an interesting little fade to color effect where the object is still cut out from the background. So hopefully this gives you a better idea on how to create a faded color splash effect in Photoshop. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, make sure you subscribe to stay tuned for weekly Photoshop tutorials. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.